Okay, so hello dudes. This is uh, Kamino Ninja Akakage. It is a Famicom exclusive uh, game. It was only released in Japan. Uh, I found the game through the Big 20. Maybe you guys have seen Ryan do the Big 20, the previous one. So this was in like uh, the 10th Big 20. So yeah, it's like a really weird game uh, based on an anime, I think in the mid 80s. So yeah, we're gonna start uh, in uh, three, two, one, go. So immediately, uh, you will notice that it's like a really weird looking game, uh, and I switched immediately to this ninja. It goes really, really fast compared to the main character, but we only have five uses of this, so we're not really gonna spam it in the run. The also bad thing about this ninja is it cannot enter secret areas like this one, where we're gonna pick up some weapons. So right off the bat, we're gonna like switch to shurikens and like uh, kill the first boss. He likes to jump around a lot, so it's pretty annoying. And then another boss, the bird. <laughs> so this uh, this game has like a lot of uh, boss fights, uh, and uh, most more or less we're gonna try to pick up a lot of weapons to kill the bosses as fast as possible. Yeah, like a boss rush game in a way. And there's like a little bit of platforming in the middle. Uh, like some cool tech you can see here. Uh, when you see these trees, you can jump a little bit and get pushed forward. Uh, this is like another one of those secret areas that you can get some consumables. Uh, you will see like the, the type of weapons later. Uh, the next boss, for example, has a uses of like a specific uh, rope that, funny enough, it's also in the first episode of uh, the anime. Like, that's how you beat this boss, right here. Oops. Uh, please don't die. Okay, there we go. This is another one of those screens that we're gonna use this uh, blue ninja, because it's a pretty long screen. Uh, since we only have five usages, uh, you know, we, we know exactly more or less where we're gonna use that, so that we don't really consume for no reason uh, there's nothing to pick up here and in the end uh, we're gonna use bombs to take down this big knight i don't know who that guy is <laughs> so we're gonna throw some bombs um wiggling around because i don't want to get hit by them i'm gonna use some special bombs for this bird and uh, one more shuriken that will kill the bird. Uh, this one is actually a little bit of a stronger uh, bird. Uh, it has double the health and I believe it does double damage. So grabbing those specific bombs is like the weakness of the bird and it's super super important to do that. Otherwise the, the fight takes forever. I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna try this. I haven't done this in a while uh, but this is like the, the fastest way to kill this boss. Um, Tarbus and myself found out about this after the Big 20. We had some smaller optimizations, I guess, with the bosses. We used like Kage Boots in here, the Shadow Clones, um, to uh, kill that frog boss. And speaking of frogs, uh, this is RNG based boss. Whenever it opens the mouth, that's the only time you damage the frog. And this is like really bad RNG. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is probably one of the, the hardest bosses. To, like get the best fight. Uh, another thing I guess to mention uh, for the projectiles in the game, uh, it also happens like in a lot of NES games. Um, when there's a projectile in the screen, you cannot fire another projectile. Uh, come on, please, guys, just move. Thank you. So you need, if you stay really close to the boss, then you can throw as many projectiles as possible if you mash and that is like the best way to kill the bosses more or less all right so this is a little bit of a troll uh, if you hold right you fall into the pit <laughs> so you don't want that uh oh man i took a lot of damage there rng based how they move and how the rocks move as well i think i'll be fine let's see all right it's fine so when you die you actually spawn on the same screen but like at the beginning so and you also have infinite lives so the game is honestly not punishing at all <laughs> when it comes down to that the only bad thing is if you lose lives uh if you 
use your weapon and you die, then uh, you will lose the weapon. But the basic weapons like the boomerang, the bombs, and the shurikens are infinite. So we don't really care about it that much. The only big thing is like the special bombs, the shadow clones and stuff. Another pit, by the way, right there. Uh, Alright, this guy is actually pretty easy. You just like jump up and throw bombs. And we're gonna pick up a scroll here. We're gonna need two scrolls, you know, to open a secret passage to the uh, bad guy lure. Uh, again, I'm not super familiar with the anime. I don't really know what the story is and such, but I'm guessing that we are the good guys. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pick up some power-ups here. I'm gonna play a bit safe here and transform a little bit later here because the next boss kill is actually a little bit difficult so let's see if I get this because it's also RNG based okay I messed up okay I'm gonna wait and then switch to my boomerang again here and kill him so the, the RNG part is like he moves around he was one shot away so I waited a bit because if you're in this uh, form and you uh, throw a projectile, the boomerang, you actually use another uh, another one of those uh, five charges that you have total, and we don't want that. So the safer way, I guess, in that situation is to wait for the projectile to not be there so that uh, you kill him with your main character. I would go up. And now this is like the really, really fun part. Uh, in this squeeze, you just hold right. <laughs> I guess you make a jump here and then you slash here, but you don't really care. The HP overall replenishes every time you go to another screen. So it doesn't matter if you get hit or not. So yeah, as you can see, like the game is overall pretty easy uh, as far as like HP and stuff goes. But um, the difficult part, I guess, is to get the optimal boss kills and such gonna go up crawl through these screens once again to go to the secret area um, this time around this uh, boulders deal a little bit more damage if I recall so we would like not to get hit as much by those boulders so all right we're good oh okay so right now we're gonna oh wait one more screen whoops right here we're gonna reveal the secret area with the scrolls that we picked up and uh, I believe we are in Scotland because you'll see a really interesting monster at the end of this uh, stage here like it has to be messy right all right all right late game now uh, this is these screens are really really difficult you see me do uh, some small jumps here at the edge uh, that's the only way to not get, get, take hit from those uh, pink pillars you see I jumped a little bit higher there and I took damage and uh, you don't want to take damage because uh, the other ninjas there randomly throw shurikens and they can actually destroy you with those shurikens so you just like want to be uh, quite safe another one of those really tricky screens uh, there is a specific visual cue to make a full jump there to avoid taking damage from the pillars and then you jump above the, the fire. So the uh, same principle applies to the enemy projectiles. If there is one projectile in the screen, they will not throw another one. So if you don't take hit from these fireballs, the statues will not really throw another one. Uh, unless, except from this one. I don't know why that one particular is weird. Another kill screen, you hold right and you die <laughs> as you enter that screen. And you see, oh, Okay, that was a specific glitch. So you see these blocks, uh, when you go to the top, you get pushed a little bit to the right. Some uh, smaller optimizations. Uh, let's see if I get this. If I get hit once... Okay, I got hit once. Uh, let me do this. A safety. Uh, so you can actually clear this room without the safety of uh, using that uh, specific technique. Without taking uh, that allows you to not take damage for 15 seconds, uh, but the jumps need to be. I'm not sure if it's like frame perfect, but it's like close to frame perfect. So I don't want that. <laughs> All right, so new tech here. 
this lady dies from those bombs apparently. Uh, we didn't know that until recently. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was gonna use my last charge here, but honestly, uh, since I die, I cannot really use the quick charge, but it's fine. We're just gonna go the slow way. The good thing about this is like, at least there are some conveyor belts that push you a little bit forward, so it's not that bad. But yeah, the... Uh... Okay, the conveyor belts actually kind of trolled me there, though. Yep, alright. I'm not really used to that without the ability. Alright, so boomerang, spam, dead. This weird monster over here kills us instantly almost. Jump above. And now, get ready for the best lightning effects in every video game. <laughs> these, uh, these are some really good lightning bolts right here. Really, really well done. Alright, uh, really difficult boss here as well. Boom. Alright, and uh, this is the second to last boss, so get ready for time. Soon. It's gonna be on the next one. Um, if I get the quick kill as well. Alright, this is a difficult boss. I might die here. Because I want to get a quick kill. Alright. We have infinite lives, so it's fine. Uh, continue. I need to click that. So it doesn't really seem that quick, but trust me. There we go. And time. Okay. So I'll explain a little bit about this uh, 